Hey, what's up now friends? It's Sarah here. And in today's video, I have an Ikea order. I'm so excited. Look, I got this delivered. And I'm gonna have to get Mark to help me pick it up because it's kind of heavy. And I have a bad back. <laughs> Halo's barking because he can hear me out here. Actually, I'll just let him out. Come here, Halo. Hello. At least say hi. Oh, hello, sir. <laughs> so what's in that Ikea box is brand new um, Alex door units. So you know those white units I use? So I got new ones because mine are destroyed. So I'm gonna get Mark to pull those in. I'll show you guys what's wrong with mine. Okay, so here's what I currently have, which they look fine. Uh, but I took out the screw that's supposed to be there, which is supposed to, see, I, I broke it. Like I can't open this. So I took out the screw and the screw is there to stop this from going further than here. But if you go further than here, it can start to sag. I've like tried to tape it so this one's not sagging right now, but yeah, they sag into the other one and make it really hard to open, which is making it impossible for me to work. So that's why I got new ones. So I'm gonna try to at least salvage whatever the better one is of these two. And maybe I'll be able to put it somewhere else, but I got new ones for here just to make it easier. I'll show you guys me putting that together some point today. Bring them yeah, just bring them inside for me. I will make sure the dogs don't sneak out. You stay. Thank you. Oh, boy, hello. Inside hell. Now those are my units. How do they fit that whole unit in that small box? Not sure. Not sure, but it's super heavy. That's why I didn't want to pick it up. Uh, where do you want? <laughs> Just wherever. I'll put Since it. Since my drawers are broken and hard to get into, I made a mess all over again. So that is something I'm gonna have to do because when when these open all the way, they also move your product like your stuff moves with the drawer. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to have everything super neat and tidy because they won't, they will no longer be able to push past its limit. And then I'm also gonna clean this whole space up again because it's kind of messy. Now for the exciting part, I'm gonna build my units. I'm just gonna do this in a speed through just so it's not boring for you guys. Basically, everything that you need will come with it. Unfortunately, I ripped the first set of instructions in half, but luckily I have two of these, so I just grabbed the instructions from the other one. I also found while building this unit to build both units at the same time, just so you don't have to go back and forth through the instructions so that's what i did so you see me here building the first unit but i actually turned off my camera and was building the second unit on the side as well these are the easiest things to build the instructions are unbelievably clear you cannot screw this up so i did not need any help i just did this on my own while my husband made me lunch breakfast <laughs> break mark made me egg bagel and bacon Yeah. them like I said you have to put this screw in so they can stay or else they get too heavy and fall apart so the screw is very important so I'm gonna take my little fluffs for a walk and then I'm going to organize my stuff So now I'm going to transfer stuff from in here into there. I think I'm gonna make a bottom drawer, my gel polish drawer still, cause these are so heavy, but I'm gonna do it across. And then I'm gonna make a whole, I think I'm just gonna actually make this thing all acrylic. And then all my art, I'm gonna 
make, I'm gonna keep one of these, I think. I don't know yet. I'm definitely making at least one of these full of acrylic. Okay, time to organize. So, like I said, the bottom drawer, I decided to just keep the way it was with the Glitter Bells gel polishes, just because it's heavy. I decided to basically do the same thing I did before. I'm gonna do pinks and purples on the top to start, and then I'm just gonna keep going along and then do blues and greens on the next drawer. So I pulled out the liners that were in the other drawers instead of buying new liners because they were perfectly fine. It's not like I even do much in these drawers. They just hold my product. So I didn't buy liners, I just reused my liners and then went right in with my product. I decided to keep up with my color coordination instead of doing it by number just because I really like the way it looks. Like look how pretty that looks when it looks like a rainbow, not the messy drawer, obviously. The first three drawers in the unit, I decided to do my colored acrylics. And then the other two, I decided to do the premix glitters. So I am absolutely full now at this point of colored acrylic and glitters. So I will have to move on when I pull more from stock to take into my collection, I'll have to put them into my other unit. And you might see me scratching myself a whole ton in this. I had to delete a bunch of me scratching myself. I had the shingles. <laughs> Has anyone else had shingles? It was not fun. Moving on to the next unit. It is really hard to organize when you have these little bins. The bins make it look so much better, but you have to kind of play, play Tetris with them and find out what fits and where it fits well. So that's what I was basically doing here, moving things around until I was able to get everything exactly where I wanted it. So yeah, I ended up making it look really nice, which I'll show you guys in a little bit, but here's just me playing around organizing, so enjoy. Hey, what's up guys? So yesterday I actually called it a day and I stopped working after whatever footage I had for you guys. So I actually just popped out right now and I grabbed a giant pile of more of the acrylic bins. So if you guys are wondering where I get these bins for in my drawers, the dollar store. You can't go wrong, I got so many. So I got all different sizes and shapes because those would fit because they fit differently in your drawer. So I just got a bunch, whatever they actually had, I bought them all, <laughs> I bought it all. So yeah, these will help keep those drawers even more organized, which is good. So this is what it looks like. I'm actually gonna pull this back. This is what it looks like right now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, I don't know. So far what I've done is I've just shoved whatever in here. So I've got like my acrylic swatch sticks, I got my fake hands. That's why I bought some acrylic bins so I can maybe organize this stuff a little better. Which I did and included it in this video. So here is how it looks. I decided to keep my Opre Gel X next to my hand bins as well as some jewelry. And that is because I use the Gel X with the hands a lot. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with swatch sticks especially. And then now I have some of my clear jelly stamper and then the next door down is also clear jelly stamper. So I'm gonna have two drawers now for clear jelly, just so it's not so heavy because before I put everything in one drawer and it was so heavy, it weighed it down. Um, these two drawers are unusable. Same with this side, I think. Actually, no, this drawer is usable. But this drawer is unusable, this drawer is unusable. This one is going to be gel, like other brands of gel polish and paint. Same with this one. This is my hard gel and tube gel. This is just basically for fun, I don't really do a lot with this stuff, but it's kind of stuff I don't really wanna get rid of. So, I'm just gonna keep that in there 
Then I just kept this as our inks. This drawer is, I don't know if this one's gonna work or not. I can't remember if this drawer works. But if it does, I will put something in it eventually. This drawer I so far just put foil and one of my palettes. This drawer is empty and this drawer is definitely broken and empty. So I have to put like, I'm gonna write stickers to which drawers you can't, I shouldn't use. That'll say broken or empty or I don't know yet how I'm gonna do that. Like I said, this isn't completely organized yet. So let's look at the new drawers because that's really what's exciting inside my new drawers. What I have now. Ooh, smooth. Look how smooth that was. Ha. Ah. So I got pinks and purples and blues and they won't move around now. See, even if I were to go like that, they don't move around, so that's great. And the next one down is acrylic. Some more, I've got blue, a, lot, a little bit left of blue. Green, yellow, orange, into golds, browns, and then the next drawer is again all glitter bells. This is all glitter bells, everything. I've got red and white and gray and black. And then I have all my cover pinks. And then moving down, I have my glitter acrylics. I'm so happy with the new drawers. And see, I got that screw. Okay, so in this one, I've got all my iridescent glitter, which is a lot, hey? Look, look how much iridescent glitter I have. Um, pinks, purples. And then the next door down is continuation of glitters. So I have more blues, I have greens, oranges, copper, gray, and then rainbow, fish food, and carnival. This is, I think I'm gonna make a full loose glitter drawer soon. I'm not sure how I'm going to put these in, but so far this is what I have for my glitter balls loose glitter this is what I've taken out of stock for myself so I did add a new one a couple new ones since my last glitter balls um, glitter mix video like I grabbed jewel I didn't have that one before which looks like this similar to fairy dust but just like a different tone of glitter I also added envy medium oh hi halo it's just glitter um, so I got that and then I also added in oh yeah I took frozen and blossom so there's some new glitters that i took for me and then i have my old glitter bell glitters that were given to me from annabelle here as well and then over here i've got flowers for milk bath nails sugar glitter i don't use sugar glitter that much so i'm not actually sure where i'm gonna put that and then i kind of just continued my regular glitter drawers they're just kind of placed in differently but i actually like the way it looks now better because it kind of just like flows nicely. So yeah, this is all my lo extra loose glitter, all different brands in here. I've got mostly Glitter Heaven Australia, as well as this brand called The Glitter Life Shop. They have really holographic glitters. And then I also carry a lot of the glitter from the nail team as well. And then I have a lot of my iridescent glitters and then some stuff from Light Elegance, as well as some chromes. So I got rose gold chrome. I got the chrome here from Get Bop Nails. I really like that chrome. So I just have that there. And then the next door down is more glitter. So Magpie Beauty USA. And then here's the nail team. Like I said, I got all my nail team glitters in here. I think this looks a little better. What do you guys think? Do you guys watch my last video? Do you think it looks better having them like this? I think so too. I didn't even hear your response or anything, but I, I know you agree. <laughs> so then, yeah, so this is gonna be my glitter and then I probably am, I'm probably gonna take these two drawers out and fill them with more acrylic. So I really want the bottom to be all glitter bells, acrylic and glitter. And then I guess, I guess other glitters too. Hmm. I still haven't put anything on my walls. I have my silver play button here, but you guys probably won't even be able to see that now when I'm filming. I'm not sh quite sure how you guys are gonna see it while I'm filming, but hopefully it looks cool. It actually is really annoying me that I have a space here that keeps opening because of the wheels. I could have taken the wheels off, but if I take the wheels off, it's so heavy I'd have to take everything out. And I don't want to do that because that took me forever. Yeah, so that's how this turned out. I'm really happy with the new drawers. I definitely needed more space, so I'm really happy with them. So yeah, that's why these bins are going to be very handy. That's the bins I use in here. As you see, these little acrylic bins. I just get all these from the dollar store. You guys will save a lot more if you go with 
dollar store bins um, because I know you can get stuff like this from places like the container store or something but they're too expensive I think these were only two dollars each or something like that so they're not too bad so I think I, I spent under seventy dollars and I got a lot of it so I'm really excited to use those and clean this drawer up the most because <laughs> this drawer is really bugging me that it's so messy I also have all my other swatch sticks if you guys are interested in case you're curious, in this mess. See, I don't know what to do. So I got all these loose glitter swatches that I haven't um, done anything with. And then I have luminary and then I have gel polish. So it's just a mess. Always a work in progress. Organizing the space is literally always. I always have something to do. I always have something to organize. So if you guys are interested in seeing more, nail room organization stuff i will bring you guys along next time when i you know maybe if i reorganize this or if i buy anything else to go on top i'm actually looking to get some plants in here so maybe i'll show you guys when i do that who knows i don't know so if you guys like this video and if you did make sure that you give me a thumbs up click subscribe click the bell next to it to be notified when i post and then you'll never miss a video so thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you guys next time bye